Hi everyone, my name is Val. I work for the Information Lab and I build a lot of business dashboards. And in this series, I share what I wish I'd learned sooner about Tableau. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your tooltip filters so that instead of this, you can show something like this. So a little bit of extra context uh, that is at a higher level of detail than what defines the mark that we're hovering over. All right, so I'm going to start from here. I've already got my two charts pre-built. I have this bar chart showing sales by subcategory in the month of December, which is the latest month in my data set. And I also have my line chart that shows sales trends over the last 12 months for each of the subcategories. And I'm using a parameter to highlight one subcategory at a time. Okay. And so the plan is to use this line chart in the tooltip of the bar chart so that when I hover over phones, for example, I would be able to see the sales trends of all the subcategories in the technology category. Uh, but phones would be the one that gets highlighted in a brighter color. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go into the tooltip and just insert the sheet that I want to display. Now, when I hover over the different marks, I have a few issues here. I only ever see a single circle, which actually represents the sales for each individual subcategory in the month of December. This happens because by default, uh, Vision tooltips will automatically filter by all fields and all fields uh, means all the discrete fields that define the mark. So in my case, it's subcategory, category, and month of order date. And that is what the tooltip is getting filtered to. Now, theoretically, the only reason that I need month of order date on detail is to be able to display the name of the month in the tooltip. So I have chairs, comma, December 2024. If I remove that pill from detail, the view itself doesn't change because I still have date on filters, but the tooltips no longer get filtered to a single month. Still, I'm just seeing a single line because my all fields in this case is still defined by subcategory and category. All right, I'm actually going to undo because I do want to show the name of the month in the filters but then I'm going to go ahead and edit that default filter. Instead of filtering by all fields, I can actually specify exactly which fields I'd like to filter by. So in my case, if I hover over chairs, I want to be able to see all subcategories within the furniture category. And if I hover over storage, I would want to see all the subcategories in the office supplies category. So that means that my vision tooltip needs to be filtered by just category. So I can either just type it out or I could insert it from the list of available fields. And while I'm here, I'm also going to adjust the size of that tooltip. So I'm going to adjust the width to 600 pixels and I'm going to keep the height as it was. All right. So looks like we're getting closer, All right? If I hover over chairs, I see four lines uh, with chairs being highlighted uh, because chairs is what is selected in my parameter. If I hover over phones, I see four different lines, which hopefully are all the different subcategories in the technology category, but nothing gets highlighted because my parameter is still currently set to chairs. So the one last thing I need to do here is create that parameter action to update the highlighted line. I'm just going to go into worksheet actions. On this sheet, I'm going to add a new parameter action and I'm just going to give it a name, update subcategory parameter. And I'm going to run this action on hover rather than on select 
the parameter that I'm going to target is my subcategory parameter, and I'm going to feed it with the subcategory field. Okay, and there we go. Now my Vizin tooltip works as expected. So one last thing I should mention here is if you ever want to filter by more than one custom field, then you absolutely can do that. Uh, you just need to separate those different fields with a comma. All right, thank you all for watching. I hope you found this useful and stay tuned for more.